Sanjeev Kharbanda. Hi, I am Sanjana Sanghi. Hi, this is Vijay Verma. Uh, and you're watching Edit TV World Star. Lakme for five or six years, and I actually Lakme was the beginning of my journey because I I signed with Lakme before my first film. So the first time I saw myself on screen was with Lakme, and it feels uh, it feels like extremely gratifying for me because when I was younger, I remember watching Lisa's ad of. Uh, the blush and glow where it was like oh oh you're making my skin glow and i was like i want to be her and i'll never forget that ad and then i got to shoot it with lakme so that was my best best memory and i love that it's become house of lakme now because it's all about the empowerment it's become more about an experience rather than just a product or a platform so it's all exciting and lakme reinvent being yeah, themselves yeah. always thank you I love the fact that this showstopper outfit is super comfortable and I think that's something which every time I've worked with Falguni and Shane the first thing she says are you comfortable in it yeah. because you know when you have a statement outfit and you have something that's edgy and different and glamorous there's always you know it's not always the most comfortable outfits that we wear but every time I've worn their pieces it's been super comfortable and that just that just sets the tone and you know lets you do your thing when you're walking and have fun and i think it shows on your face so i i did i had a great comfortable stunning day tonight well um so i think the collection is uh, sort of you know you can build it from day to night and that's the speciality and the special uh, you know part about that that you can wear a dress and then put a jacket on in the night wear your high heels and then you're ready with a beautiful bubble braid which is on kiara so i think the collection is really flexible and you can uh, you know you have so many statement pieces so yeah
actually very comfortable in sarees, but you have to have the most amazing uh, drape for that. Today, Dolly G has been uh, has helped us, and I'm so comfortable. I was making a joke that I can even do yoga in the saree. She's draped it so beautifully. Uh, so yeah, I'm very comfortable. Yeah, Indian girls should be. We we love our sarees. It's a cashmere saree. It takes almost one and a half years to do the saree. Oof. The fabric is not just a fabric. And a lot of pearl embroidery to enhance our elegance. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet.
that the entire collection completely resonates with, with me completely. It's the kind of collection that I would want to have in my wardrobe. So I want to have every one of your pieces in my wardrobe. Uh, totally me, I, that's how I dress, and that's how I am. So I don't think I felt this comfortable ever walking on ramp and I've walked my fair share on a ramp. But I felt the most comfortable, the most at ease and most myself today. So thank you for that. The uh, point of the collection was to show the hit girl and uh, Malaika was the only choice. She's like, she's the original hit girl, right? So we had to have to have her. Um, but uh, the idea was also like to kind of talk about the modern, modern India. So we have a lot of like structured uh, corsets paired with like women with pants and uh, kind of like mix a uh, 80s staring with like a uh, 90s flirtiness in a way. So it's got that like soft fluidity and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the show. Thank you for being here. Um, it was as nerve-wracking as ever, I have to say. Uh, one thinks that as you kind of do more LFWs, the nervousness would reduce, but I'm finding that it keeps increasing. Um, but I've had the great opportunity to walk for Anju Ma'am the second time, which is something that uh, I almost couldn't have ever thought would happen. And uh, I just hope that I did justice to her stunning creation. Um, this felt modern, but also traditional, and uh, and I I love that there's a tree of life motive on my lehenga because it's something it's a philosophy that I live by. Um, I think the tree of life represents so much about how life evolves and grows, and I think Andrew Ma'am's style has evolved and grown over the years as well. Um, so I had a blast, and thank you to the Lakme Salon team as well. For everything. Well, the brides are of today's uh, times and they want to, to look sexy, they want to look trendy, they don't want to get into the usual garb where they are, you know, covered with the head and uh, kind of, you know, the typical reds and all that. So we are breaking the rules and coming out with the touche color, which is my muse is wearing and I'm calling her my dhak dhak girl. So, <laughs> I mean, you lose a heartbeat when you see her, she's so pretty. And the idea was that you can experiment with any color now when it is your big day. And even, you know, the indigo blue, cobalt blue, which I introduced, the brides are going for that color also. So all the taboos behind any color is no more anymore there. Of course, the whites are also working a lot. Then I gave the ruby color, the jewel color. So it was a great, great opportunity for me to come along with Lac Lacme Salon and when Anu approached me that, okay, we would like to do global brides and we would do morning brides, evening brides, destination brides. So that kind of, you know, gave me the excitement and the inspiration. And that's how we took many different colors, as you could see, the lilac color also. On top of that, their makeup and their look and the glow on their skin, the way they did the whole trendy young look, turned it around. I never saw such beautiful makeup done before. I've done n number of shows and of course never I could manage to get such lovely girls, all of them and Sanjana was looking like beautiful, her complexion is so good as, as it is. But on top of that to make her glow is another feather in the cap. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, thank you for being here. Uh, it's always very exhilarating to be at LFW and uh, I'm just very happy that 
for me, this particular walk has been special because it is Barney's debut. And it's always extremely emotional and special when I get to be part of someone's journey, which is in right in the, in the beginning of anything that they start doing. Personally, this is something that I want to wear. I love the idea of pearls on Lengas. I also kind of love the idea that you can mix pearls with so many different metals, even in terms of jewelry or in terms of clothes. And I love how she's made the entire collection look like artwork. And it's art decor that has been inspired by it. because uh, there was a very strong stigma about just being fair and they signed me as a dusty model and that was path breaking for me and you are catering to a variety of women you're not just catering to one prototype that most people desire to be so I think uh, that's something amazing that Lakme has done and they are reinventing themselves they are stepping up house of Lakme is all about beauty and fashion and today I'm saying I, I have not walked a ramp for a long time. Just you know, still being a mother, still trying to balance work and uh, motherhood. And uh, today, <laughs> I, I was like, Bibu, I don't know. I'm not ready for the ramp yet." And he was so kind. And he said, "Whatever you want, because you have to just be comfortable." And I said, "Okay, today I'm just going to walk with confidence. The person I'm and the way everyone cheered for me, it was really heartening. And um, I, I'm glad I did this. I'm, I'm really, really thank, thank you." I think it's because it's just 
perfect blend of tradition, traditional, which, you know, with, if you see the, the fabric, is a Banarsi fabric, but it also has uh, an element of, uh, you know, like a European sensibility, given the very vintage French print uh, on the skirt. And I love that. So I'm, I'm, I'm a very, I love vintage. I, I feel like I'm an old soul. So uh, for me, this is just the perfect outfit. Uh, okay, so Rue means uh, soul. So that means soul connection where one does not have to be related with blood, but it's just when one soul speaks to the other and it can be anywhere, everywhere. And this collection, uh, we've used a lot of different techniques in terms of embroideries, in terms of prints. We've, uh, we've taken print is our strong point. So we've used that and we've tried to experiment a lot with that. With that. I hope you guys like it. A lot of it resonates with me, I wouldn't lie. Uh, having said that, I think today's collection was absolutely spectacular. My reason uh, for this is uh, maybe a little obvious, but I feel like I need to say it out loud. Uh, you know, bachpan se maine jab bhi, I've seen my mom dress with the most beautiful tissue and brocade sarees and with the most intricate embroidery and it's just so stunning. For the first time, I feel like I've noticed the same uh, tradition in this outfit, whether it was the brocade fabric, uh, whether it's the tissue lining, whether it's the embroidery. For me, I like that this has given me, like they've made me wear an outfit that I'm so comfortable wearing, but yet keeping tradition alive, just at the back of it. Uh, not glaringly obvious, but it's there, and that's the root of the outfit, and that's what I enjoyed the most about today's look. This collection is uh, full of global trending vibes. And, but between the framework of the Indian traditional wear. So it is like what the women of today, the sassy women, uh, the independent, like Kriti, they want in the traditional wear, but with, you know, the uh, loose jackets, oversized ones. So this is an infusion of these two cults, basically. Yeah. And, and. Walking for Pawan, uh, like he said, the collection is called Infinity. I really like the idea. It, it also means limitless, you know, possibilities, creativity, and that's exactly what is shown um, in this collection. Uh, a very, I mean, what I'm wearing, my outfit especially, I love it. It's really comfortable and stylish at the same time. Uh, really enjoyed it. <laughs> modeling in this country I saw a billboard at Haji Ali and I called my agent and I was like that's the campaign I want to be in because I knew it was like the benchmark of the girls that would have a very bright career and I think it's still the same today it's still as exciting today to walk the runway for Lakme and be a, a muse for you Bibu in you your are, beautiful clothes you are a muse. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fine. 
And actually working with you has been such a breeze. You're so humble and so flexible and you just want everyone to feel good in what they're wearing and I think that's a very rare quality these days, just to want women to feel powerful. sentimental reasons because you know like me you really catch them young so yeah. we were all kids when, when yeah. you found us and uh, you know it's your first experience of anything being out in the world working with the best teams that you pull together so it's always been such a special experience I think for each of us uh, particularly at that very young uh, foundational age and like me yeah. being a legacy brand could very well have rested on its laurels it never has uh, there was a time where Lakme was the only one on the firmament. Yep. Now there are so many, you know, all the internationals have come in as, uh, as a homegrown legacy brand. You stood head to head, you've been at the leading edge of innovation. You've not only kept up, but also had really genius ideas. For instance, Lakme Fashion Week, you know, whichever genius team came up with that, the marriage of the confluence of beauty and fashion, and look how far that's taken you and how, you know, what an incredible landmark every year it's become. It's become a real milestone. So congratulations on all of that. I'm, you know, again, so uh, filled with sentiment that I'm here and you thought of me and I'm just very happy to be here. And we do, yeah, especially even more so that it was you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So thank you all. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's, um, it's definitely an emotional one for me. Um, to be here, I'm, I'm from Odisha. I'm not even from big towns like all of you are. I'm from Odisha and I left home and I'm basically trying to chronicle all the different strides we have made here in this uh, country and trying to draw a parallel with the legacy brand like Lakme and all the things that they have done, um, all centered with women and my life and I'm basically Chronicling calling the life, my life, with women in my life who shaped me. And when the conversation started, how we, what are we going to, what's the message is going to be? I wanted the entire bread, whoever we could find, come bring together, who have been a part of the LACME legacy, hence role models for each in their own right. So bring them all together. They're all busy, they're all professionals, they're mothers, they're, oh, you know, look at them, we're present, we're Really, uh, we wanted to celebrate who they are today, who they were 10 years ago, and who they become. You know, there's so many, I am so excited about being here amongst this and all those incredible models we had. And I wanted to put together a collection that's not only really my latest collection, but also picking milestone and icons from 10 years, past 10 years, like the icons I'm surrounded by as we speak. Um, and these are, these, I'm, I'm happy, I'm try, holding myself back from having a sort of a fan moment because I could melt down, literally melting right now. <laughs> but seriously, all of you, each one of you uh, took your time out to do this collaboration with you and of course Lakme for giving me the opportunity to bring it back and this is coming home for me, standing amongst all of you and I'm the biggest Woo! voice for women of modern India and for, for no matter what he, what they do, I am made by you all, and I will always be standing in solidarity with you all. But no matter what, for your rights, for your presence, for whatever you do, and and the support that you have given me by sort of breaking all the inhibitions that we all had. We we all had individual conversations, yes. right? So some of some of my beautiful muses, I had to walk them off the ledge. Like, look, girl, whatever you want to do. But that's the conversation and dialogue we could have openly so that that's how we can lift every one of all of us together and very proud.
just um, us revisiting our roots and uh, how the brand has evolved over all of these years. You know, we've gone through our archives of prints, the signature that we do, um, our embroideries overlaid and textiles. So all of that, it's an amalgamation of all of that put together and that, that's how we've come up with the collection. So this is just, our, we're celebrating our journey over all of these last years. It was Bhumika's as pleasant as she looks. So it was amazing working with her. She's uh, very easy to work with and I think she's got a stunning collection. And what I love about Retro Love as a collection and specifically the piece that I'm wearing, like she said that Retro, right, going back to the roots. And I think the beauty of this piece or the collection is that it is rooted into our traditional sense in some way and yet very contemporary, yet very modern, making it very new age. Um, you know, and relatable. I mean, today, uh, an outfit that I'm wearing can be worn by any girl of today, right? And it's so relatable, it's so comfortable, and I have to say that I love this belt, which is actually like, possibly a signature because it makes the weight of the lehenga so evenly distributed. So yeah, a lot of small, small things, and then I wore it, I was like, wow, this is amazing. So I think tradition mixed with the new age uh, modernity of um, fashion uh, is, is, I think, Not walked barefoot before yeah. uh, on the ramp, uh, right. so that was a first for me. So there was no will I trip or not. Uh, so no, that was uh, it was quite nice actually, very comfortable. Long tail actually, our mechla sadar is of two parts. Uh, upper part is called sadar and the lower part is called mechla. But in the sadar, I have given a little bit tail part. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, I have put, because if you see my collection this time, I have put flowers in every <coughs> design. So this time also I have put one big flower on her Mekla <coughs> Chadu. before Anahat came into our lives. My wardrobe is actually filled with Gauri and Anika and I'm actually very, very glad that I met Anahat and now I can get some uh, clothes off them as well. But, um, I mean, yeah, it's the first time that the entire squash team is here. We're a sport that we don't really get much, rec much recognition. So we're very, very happy and honored to have um, walked the ramp for Gauri and Anika and hopefully um, we can keep coming back. Yeah, Gauri and I were thrilled to be collaborating with Caprice for our Spring Summer 2024 collection. It all came together very naturally and uh, beautifully because their inspiration, which is the Isle of Capri, is something that Gauri and I have always been in love with. We, we, we've gone for Italian holidays and always been inspired by the bright colors, the flowers, you know, and the, the whole fresh, feminine, romantic feel of this Italian summer. And I think that was the inspiration of the collection. You could see like big umbrella stripes, a lot of romantic silhouettes, floral motifs, very bold floral prints, and also some easy to wear sort of, there were cottons and uh, silk cottons that we, for a more casual look, which is something that was new for us as well. But obviously what we're best known for are glamorous silhouettes and our gowns that, you know, was gonna be there, of course. So lots of dresses and yeah, uh, lots of prints, colors. It was a lot of fun, I think. And the best part for us was also having these amazing showstoppers work for us. 
such talented people, the Indian women's squash team that won so many medals at the Asian Games at Abhay who also won a gold, Deepika won a gold. It was just like I think such a moment, a proud moment for us. So we uh, were super honored to have them uh, walk for us and celebrate this moment with us. All I want to say that I'm uh, really happy to be here. Different zoner altogether, but uh, I love clothes. So Pavan Bhai, he's always been there for me whenever I need clothes. So uh, he asked me if I can do this. I said I'm not sure if I can pull it off, but I hope I did okay. So <laughs> lovely to be here to be part of all, to be part of you all. And uh, yes, as I said, I love uh, wearing different clothes, and this is giving me a bit of Tommy Shelby's look. You know, if you know Tommy Shelby, uh, Birmingham, say, what is the style? Ka. So, uh, yeah, lovely to be here, and Men in Black is always good. That was, and it was a sporty collection, and it's like very flowy, simple, edgy, and you know, it's a mix of leisure, luxury streetwear, combined together, everything like. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, thank you. Thank you, you two gentlemen. Thank you, Park Avenue. Thank you, Lakme Fashion Week and FDCI. Uh, it's always thrilling to walk the ramp. Uh, trust me, the thrill of walking the ramp in front of a live audience when you also have friends, you know, they're supporting you, cheering you. And in your own city, there's nothing better than that. And with Park Avenue, I, I totally resonate uh, with, their, with their style statement. This is something which I would wear in my personal life. You know, it is so chic, still so relaxed, so comfortable, and the fabric is great. Uh, and I, of course, I was watching the show backstage and I was just selecting the things that I want from the ramp, uh, from, from, the, from all the models, what they were wearing. It's beautiful. I think it's a really cool uh, uh, you know, line that they have because we need that. We need something that we can wear in our day-to-day -day life. See, Park Avenue is, uh, stands for the, Park Avenue stands for the go-getter community, right? People who want to make a name for themselves. They work hard, they party hard and they reach the goal that they have set for themselves in life. No better than uh, Mr. Rao, uh, who we all know, uh, you know, is a fabulous actor. And uh, therefore, I don't think there's anyone who can be a better showstopper for the brand than he himself. embracing the tradition and having fun with it like actually like this is something that I want to wear for a special occasion at the same time I want to hit the after party in the same outfit and kill it so that's the vibe I got we didn't know that Indian clothes could be so comfortable like what nonsense they're the most comfortable amazing things if they're done in the right fabric and they're tailored and you know someone thinks about making things sleeveless so people can dance and have fun put a zipper in the churi that little basic things you know Sometimes it is needed when you're drinking. So that's what takes all of this into account. And we want to do Indian clothes with natural fabrics and with beautiful weaves, work with weavers and give it international tailoring. Exactly what it's set up on the screen. Indian
But thank you guys for doing this. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. And, and this is not actually for something. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the clothes that were picked up literally were picked up from the collection. It is for everyone. And today we're just see more by them and everyone. So the idea was for them to pick up what is there. And we didn't make it special, but they made it special. So that, that was the idea.